I'm here with a uh, walkthrough tour of my Forest of Balor. Um, I've been doing a lot of work over here. Um, it still needs some little minor tweaks, like just adding in a few smaller touches like uh, flowers and um, bushes and things. But it's mainly done, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a uh, look around at what I have created. Um, so there's a few uh, separate areas that we'll cover, um, but let's get started. Okay, so starting at the entrance here, I've made this little kind of road pathway. Um, it's a bit like a roundabout. <laughs> you can see that I've uh, put the Lightning McQueen car bed here. If I had like a Vanellope's car, I'd probably put that here, but I don't at the moment yet. She's still leveling up. So um, we have a little off ramp to the left here, and then we have to the right another off ramp, which leads to the campsite area. So I've set up a couple of little stalls. I've got Kristoff's stall here, uh, Goofy stores here as well. So I made this kind of like a picnic area. So I've got a bunch of the food on the tables and things like that. And then I imagine this stall selling food as well. So people can come, they can have their picnics, they can hang out here. Um, and then up here we've got someone set up for a campsite using Buzz's RV. Um, so I've set, oh no, okay I had some stuff on this table here and it seems to have not saved, um, that's a really annoying bug that's been happening a lot where you put stuff on tables and then it doesn't save so um, <laughs> yeah I guess that's happened to me, all the stuff I put out, it was just like a wash basket and stuff, um, that was all but at least the cooking stuff is still here on this table. Um, We've got over here the little blanket for, I just imagined that this family or whatever that's camping here, they might set up a little blanket for to kind of be a bit more outdoorsy. And then we have this little campfire here, which I'm using as, well, basically a campfire. So people can sit around here toasting marshmallows and everything. Um, oopsie, that was my phone. <laughs> Getting notifications, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so that's what this uh, setup's for. I do wish this campfire didn't have this metal top part. Like, I get why it does, because you're meant to cook on this. But I'd love to have just like a basic campfire. Like, the bit below would look so much better. But we work with what we've got. <laughs> and then I have a little secret area if I can find my way through this way. Yep. And this is my little um, stargazing area. So I've set up the telescope here, one of my most wanted items and I finally have it. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, I did actually capture a photo of me like pretending to stargaze and put it on um, my Instagram, I believe. Um, it definitely went on to Twitter. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't forget to follow my socials if you do want to see random uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley pictures because I do tend to post them a lot. Um, and then you can come through here. So this is meant to be like the forest area. So the wooded vibes. So there's a lot of bushes, a lot of trees and everything. There's still this space here, which is quite open. And I am thinking of either leaving it open in case I need to add on to this build or I'm thinking just like fill it with tons of trees and bushes <laughs> but yeah <laughs> that's this space here so it's a bit empty but it gives me room for decorating and then we come to this side of the forest I absolutely love this root chart by the way like this is one of my favorite tree items in game <laughs> um, so we'll come under here and then if you head to the right, you get to Goofy's house. I really wanted him near the water because he's constantly fishing. Um, so I set him up a little garden here with the um, birdhouse, a little bench and some uh, pottery items going on over here. And to the left, we then have his little fishing spot. So I've got a little chair out for him. There's a bucket of water, which I could imagine the fish are in. And then he's got his like little lunch items in his uh, little trolley thing. <laughs> 
whatever you'd call that. Um, I'll show you that bit later, but that's basically a painting area that I have. And then we've got another wooded area here. I've used this root arch. This is a darker one um, to put it near Elsa's cave. So again, just trying to keep that foresty feel with all the trees and um, the rocks that I have. I have tried to section off certain bits as well. So that area is all the fir trees. Um, we've got a mix of um, oak trees and maple trees over there. And then in that section, we've got the birch trees. So each section is kind of like a different style of uh, foliage or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then here we've got another like secret little pathway off. So this area here takes you to another cute little picnic spot. I was thinking about having like a little fairy circle here, but um, I might do that elsewhere, either where the fir trees are or in that big empty space that I haven't decorated yet. So this is like a cute little area you can come and just hang out and chill in. And then if we come back out, this is our mystery pathway. And this leads us to the purple cottage now i do have plans for this i do want to decorate inside um i don't want to go into too much about what i've got planned for it because i think that might spoil it and yeah i don't want to spoil the future build <laughs> um but yeah i do have uh, plans for this little cottage as well um so that's this area if i come back over here we can head over to our next area which I've tried to keep kind of hidden but it's almost impossible to keep anything hidden <laughs> um, but this is fairy godmother's house I uh, I really like this build I like this entryway I might remove the first set of lights I'm not sure but I like the idea of putting multiple trellises in a row to create this like little archway I think it's very very cute um so we have this here and then you can turn to the right and we've got like a little sewing area um we have a bench area and i have made use of one of these leaf rugs um it's a bit of a hard rug to kind of use anywhere but i really wanted to make use of it so i have placed this down here uh we've just decorated outside um fairy godmother's house with some like uh plants and flowers and then I gave her a little pumpkin patch here and I put this out here as well. Um, once I get the lower down like mushroom apocryphy like table thing, I'll probably put that here instead of this sewing table. But for now that was kind of like the closest item I had that blended in. Uh, then we have the little pumpkin and flowers here, which I thought was a nice little bridge to these are flowers so I made this like flower bed kind of thing here as well so it looks like she does her garden um, and then we have through here this is meant to be a um, kind of like mystical magical circle um, with the fine flower lamps and then some of the uh, statues so if we had like proper like you know those old style statues that you get in the garden of like uh like greek style women and stuff like that like if we had something like that that's probably what i'd have here i wanted to create like a kind of like a garden of statues but we don't really have any statues in game apart from the turning red ones which i have at the entrance and then these like tall pillars of rocks um so that's why they're here because i did want to kind of create like a statue garden um and then we've got the lines here which i think work well here because of the color they are i think it ties in nicely to the start of the uh, frosted heights and then if we come through this little pathway here we get to our little uh painting area so i moved the um blankets around a bit so we do have the beauty and the beast blanket here and then on the beach i've put the new summer blanket um which is like a blue one so i put that there and then we set up a couple of easels so you can imagine someone either painting the woods or painting goofy fishing or something like that but i thought it was a kind of a cute use of um the easels and stuff like that so 
and that's that final part done. Um, but what I am going to do is if we go back to the beginning, I'm just going to do a quick walk through, um, but with it being night time, because I think it looks really pretty when it's all lit up. Um, there's a lot of candles in places and stuff like that, so I do really want to um, showcase that to you all. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, and it's uh, finally night time. I say finally night time, I've just adjusted the time of day in the uh, game. <laughs> um, let me take you for a little walk around just so you can see how it looks at night. And there we have it guys so that's my forest of Valor um, I hope you enjoyed the little tour there um, I hope it gives you some great ideas for building and inspires you and things like that um, let me know what your favorite part of the build was in the comments below and if you did enjoy this please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content and I will see you all in the next video bye